Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a recipe to make one of my favourite pasta dishes, spaghetti carbonara. It's a quick and easy pasta dish to make. You only need a few good quality ingredients, but it tastes perfect. So if you would like to learn how to make this spaghetti carbonara, then let's get started. The first thing you want to do is get a large pot of water onto the heat so it will be boiling by the time we're ready to cook the spaghetti. Traditionally carbonara is cooked with pancetta. If you have that on hand then yes use it, but if you don't, bacon works great also. Cut the rashes of bacon into thin slices. Place a heavy based pan like a cast iron skillet onto medium heat and add a splash of olive oil. Once the pan is hot add the bacon and give it a toss. Make sure the pan isn't too hot that it will brown the bacon too quickly. While the bacon is cooking and the pasta water is coming to the boil, we're going to prepare the sauce for the carbonara. This is one of the most simplest sauces. You only need a few good quality ingredients, but they work amazingly together. The main ingredient is eggs, which will give most of the creaminess to the dish. Try to use free range eggs in this recipe as you will notice a difference. I'm using a whole egg as well as an egg yolk for more of a richness and flavour. Next is some parmesan cheese, about a third of a cup, finely grated. Try to grate it yourself rather than buying the pre-grated stuff. Add it to the bowl with the eggs along with some freshly cracked black pepper. This pasta dish doesn't require any additional salt because of the salt in the bacon. Using a fork give the sauce a mix until everything is well combined. Don't worry if you think it's quite thick, we're going to be adding some of the pasta water to thin it out. Check on the bacon and give it a toss. You want it to be quite crispy to add some texture to the spaghetti. To garnish the carbonara and also add some freshness, I'm using some Italian parsley. Tear the leaves from the stalks and run a sharp knife over the parsley to chop it finely. By this point the water for the pasta should have come to the boil. Add a generous amount of salt to season the water and add the spaghetti. I'm using spaghetti in this recipe but you can use any type of pasta you would like, fettuccine is quite popular. Stir the pasta to make sure it is all covered by the water and cook for about 7 minutes or until al dente. Before straining the spaghetti, fill a mug with pasta water. We're going to use this for the sauce. Drain the spaghetti and add it to the skillet with the bacon. Make sure to turn off the heat. Pour about half of the pasta water on the spaghetti and give it a toss with tongs or a pasta spoon. The pasta water is rich in starch so it will help the sauce stick to the pasta while also making the sauce very creamy. Add the sauce we made with the eggs earlier to the spaghetti and toss well. It should incorporate well with the water, creating a sauce which will start to thicken from the heat of the spaghetti. When the sauce has thickened, this step is optional, it's not traditional but I think it gives a great touch to the dish. Add a small amount of cream, not a lot or it will be too heavy, just about a tablespoon or so and toss the spaghetti well. The sauce is extremely creamy on its own just with the eggs but the touch of cream gives it a nice touch. Finally add the chopped parsley and toss through. Serve the carbonara in a bowl and garnish with some parsley. This is a great quick pasta dish to make that's incredibly simple but perfect. Let me know if you give it a go, the recipe will be listed in the information box as well as on my website. If you would like to see some other pasta recipes, take a look at this pesto pasta or for a dessert take a look at this chocolate salted caramel tart. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!